yes i'm vlogging i can't believe it it's been i actually can't remember the last time i vlogged which is terrible it's one of the messages that really hits hard when I get those DMs on Instagram mostly saying when are your vlogs coming back. It's just insane. I have no idea how people do it, especially basically moms. I don't know how moms vlog. It's just, it's too much. Anyway, I miss it so much and I have a few things coming up this week. So I just thought I'd do a bit of a week in the life. I'm not here for the behind the scenes mom stuff. It's too hard to film. I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, it stresses me out and I wanna be here and bring my best self and enjoy myself. And yeah, if I'm having fun, you'll have fun. So um, yeah, let's see where the week takes us. It's good to be back. So my makeup is done. Although, do you find that when you get older, you're, ooh, you expect to put your makeup on and look better but actually i don't know i kind of find sometimes like i look better without makeup these days i'm getting botox this week and then i had profilo done which i actually did feel like it made a huge difference but i will come back to you i'm getting you have to get it twice done twice in uh a month a month apart and see the full results but i definitely like my skin was almost gray i'll try and find a photo and it's definitely looking a lot brighter and just fuller, healthier, plumper. Um, I'm currently using this Acton Acre um, Cold Process Stem Cell Serum because with age, just everything seems to be going south. So I'm trying to grow back my hair. Um, so yeah, I am. Being collected by Kira, we are going into town today um, and yeah, it's been like two weeks since I got to do a content day with Kira, so I'm super excited. Um, I have some work uh, with Marks and Spencers that I'm doing, so I will be going to collect um, the pieces that I'm going to be styling. Um, and I have to collect Connor's birthday present. I got him a acne t-shirt, which I am so excited about. Um, and yeah, just create some content. So I'll bring you along for the day. Okay, I am home and I had planned on bringing you along for that content day, but it just gets so hectic. And honestly, I find it so difficult to vlog when I'm with other people and they're not vlogging as well. So anyway, I have just finished loads of TikToks. I'm doing this new style series and I am just adoring doing it. It's like hacks and tips on how to shop better, which I think I'm really good at because I have such a low budget and I manage to look like I'm a millionaire. So anyway, I'm gonna take off my makeup now and get cozy and edit all of my videos and put away all of these clothes. This is what it looks like when you're outfit planning. But yeah, there are, I promise, loads of things I'm doing over the next week where I'm on my own and I'll be able to bring you along far more um, and show you a bit more behind the scenes. Something very exciting I'm doing next week is going away for the night with a brand. I think it's my first time doing that. So yeah, we'll do that together. So I'd just take my makeup off. I thought I would show you my current nighttime routine. I've been really strict because I went to get the profilo, like I said, um, in the skin and uh, laser and skin clinic um, in the city centre. I would really recommend them. I thought they were amazing. And there was a nurse doing it and she was really good at just reminding me how important your skin routine and your homework basically of your skin routine is. So I'm really bad with my Factor 50 and my nighttime routine, even though I love doing it. So I don't know why I don't, but I always just fall into bed. So this is currently what I'm doing. So first, just always put my Vichy um fortifying and plumping daily booster this probably isn't for evening but it just 
my skin is so dry i just need to always put some sort of serum underneath everything then i go in with the um paula's choice exfoliate this is the salicy salicylic acid so they actually did advise to get the cleanser with salicylic um so i am just using this because i have it so basically the paula's choice you just you don't actually need that much and you just use a little pad take off any excess stuff and it's actually quite oily the moisturizer that i'm now going back to every day is my sunday riley vitamin c um hydration cream because she said vitamin c is the most important thing for that glowy dewy plump skin so i kind of always don't use this because it's kind of expensive and bougie but i'm just going for it i actually have another tub as a backup because i love it so much so i use this as my moisturizer evening i like to use the cerave uh, advanced repair ointment just because it is so thick and dreamy it's almost like a vaseline so i'm gonna lash that on and then i use the ordinary retinol which is super important she said I love this one because it's kind of got, it's very oily and it's got like a citrusy smell. I love the smell of it, but divine. Anything that's like super oily, I love. So yeah, that is my current evening skin routine. That's me done. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, so I thought I would check in on this vlog. Last weekend was Connor's birthday and basically he was in the States and we didn't get to celebrate. So I told him that we were pretending like Friday was his birthday and this was going to be his birthday weekend that we, we would celebrate. So this morning he got his gift, which I'm pretty broke at the moment. So I saved up to get him an acne t-shirt, which he was delighted with. So I'm so happy and hopefully he'll wear it tonight. We're going on a date night. I'll bring you along and show you where we go. Uh, Abe is staying with his grandmother, um, Connor's mom, his Maisie. And yeah, which means tomorrow we get a nice lie on and we can go for a run together. So yeah, I'm really excited for the weekend just to chill. Last weekend with Connor away, I kind of felt like I'm going through a two week long week, if you know what I mean. I didn't really get a weekend because I was mining Abe all weekend, so on my own. Um, so yeah let's get into the weekend also want to check in because i got botox yesterday with paul at home it is just the best service ever he comes to your house he gives you the botox 15 minutes later you're done while baby is napping i feel like for moms it's just the best thing ever and he's a really competitive rate as well so i would check him out i'll put his link here um but i for the first time got my chin done my friend told me that she got her chin botox and i was like why but as you can see, I get these like dimples and like when I smile, there's like kind of some funky stuff going on. So basically I just wanted to see what it did. So uh, currently I actually was three months, it was a three month gap between my last session and it lasts me really well. Um, but yeah, I'm already seeing results, which is amazing. I always get the three areas, so I get around the crow eyes or crow feet or whatever you call them. I get my entire brow, I get between the eyes. So yeah, and now I'm getting my chin because I'm extra bougie like that. So I'll check in in a few days in this vlog um, and show you the results, but I am very excited to not have a dimply chin. <laughs> Saturday morning we had our date night last night 
it's absolutely gorgeous. Came home with no Abe this morning, no Abe. We were saying last night how it's so strange when you get little glimpses of what your life used to be. It's just so foreign and unnerving. Um, but yeah, we miss him this morning definitely, but it's nice to be able to like get up and kind of journaled and I just like lay on the bed for a while. Oh my God, I'm getting to go for a run together now. It's such a treat. So we are going for a run. I thought I'd just check in on my Botox, my chin. It's very weird. I'm gonna have to get in touch with them now. It's only been a day, so, but it's like not dimpling as much, but it's now like almost like the skin like clusters and like turns into a little bit of a lump. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, hopefully it, yeah, evens out. But the rest of it, I can get that. I'm starting to get that like glow, that shine on my forehead, that like Botox shine. There's nothing like it. Um. Anyway, we are going for brunch today, so I will try to film as much as I can because we're going with friends. So I never feel comfortable filming when there are people around. But yeah, let's see where this day takes us. <laughs> There was no brunch menu, which it says online there's supposed to be a brunch menu. But the focaccia sandwiches were so good. The place was dead, there was no one there. So I found that a little bit, yeah, for Connor's birthday brunch. It wasn't maybe as buzzy as we would have liked, but everyone enjoyed it. Um, I would still recommend it for the sandwiches. Um, I'm not sure why it wasn't maybe a little bit more busy, but we were there at 12, so maybe it was just too early. Um, but I would, I still love Spratsura for their dinners as well. It's so affordable and price-wise really reasonable. Anyway, I'm doing work with Marks and Spencers at the moment. Doing CG content for the last few months, so I'm going to collect squeezing in a little bit of work while we're baby free. I'm going to collect um, and pick out some of the clothes that I'll be styling. So I'm going to do that now and then we're going to go back to Abe. <laughs> running but there was a lot of running around after Abe but we are just not wanting to go home in this glorious weather so a new Oakberry acai shop has opened in Black Rock which is where we live so we're gonna go check it out and have some acai. Yeah, punchy. Very punchy. That's what I've got for you, isn't it? 
So this top I have wanted for, I'm going to say about four years and it is pretty spenny. So I saw that it was on sale the other day and the fact that I have wanted it for four years and loved it for four years, it's also a top that is black, plain and can be dressed up, can be dressed down, can be worn as kind of just a layer. So I just thought, you know what, this is something that I should be investing in if I've loved it for four years. It definitely passed the test of wait 24 hours anyway. So anyway, I wanna show you guys because I'm so excited. Don't think I actually have anything by this brand, so is Tove, I think that's how you say it. Um, I got it in a 36, it's called the Tess Body Suit. Um, so yeah, it's just a scoop neck, ruched um, around the boobs and the sleeves, and then it's kind of just plain black. So I might have to try it on and show you guys out in the mirror. So I'll try it on and show you guys in the mirror and see what we think. Okay, this is it on. I thought when I was putting on, it was gonna to be too tight and uncomfortable, but actually it is so stretchy and comfortable. Now I'd have to wear a different bra. I think you'd wear a strapless bra because it's kind of almost off the shoulder and you can also wear it off the shoulder, which I didn't realize and I love. Um, but like I said, it's a bodysuit um, and then the back, just the ruched effect is just so gorgeous and flattering. And yeah, I am so in love. And actually, after waiting this long, I'm so glad because I feel like when you wait this long, you know that it's not about it being a trend. It's not about having seen it on other people, which actually I haven't really seen it on many people. So I think it was only one person that I loved it on her, but yeah, it's, definitely not an impulse purchase. So that's what I love about making these kind of investments in pieces that I have just loved for years. And yeah, I just know that I'm gonna get good wear out of it. And I actually, at the moment, I'm really struggling with finding nice tops that I like. I'm so sick of white t-shirts. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna wear this with like jeans and flip flops, like, Perfect. By the way, I have, oh, I look a bit rough. Um, by the way, I have started a TikTok series where I'm offering kind of style and shopping advice. My hacks for um, reselling your clothes um, and reinvesting your money in good quality pieces and yeah, how I do it because I have a very low budget when it comes to shopping, but I managed to make uh, big investments and <laughs> buy expensive things and I think it's just because I'm very smart with my purchases and my um, reselling and saving so if you want to have a look you can go check my TikTok <laughs> 